23. We are now about six weeks uh, from a decompression of the common perineal nerve here. Uh, this is at the fibular head. Um, he still even has a little bit of swelling. He hasn't completely healed the incision. Um, and we did this operation because of some weakness in his foot. Specifically, he had weakness in bringing his foot up and in bringing his foot outward. And also a little bit of weakness in bringing his toes up, especially the big toe, which is the easiest to check. And that had been going on for some time. One of our colleagues in town had performed an EMG nerve conduction study. Uh, and it did demonstrate the nerve was pinched at the level of the knee and it was not in the spine. So he has what's called a foot drop or had a partial foot drop. Um, and six weeks ago, we released that. Um, why don't you tell us, if you don't mind, what has changed and uh, how things are different for you? Dr. Williams, the procedure you performed was uh, nothing short of a miracle, I think. I mean, I believe because, you know, if, when I came to see you, I really had very little control over my foot. I was concerned about tripping. Um, and within a few days, I started having some strength back in it. And now at six weeks out, I am perfect. I mean, I, my foot is, the strength is back. Everything is good. The uh, Any pain that I had had before, even pre and post surgery is all gone. Uh, so everything is great. So that's interesting. You mentioned pain. In addition to weakness, were you having, remind me, were you having any numbness, tingling, buzzing, sort of creepy feelings down your leg as well? Yeah, what I noticed and, and what brought all this on was it felt like my foot was falling asleep and then it would kind of creep up towards the ankle and, and sometimes down this outside of my uh, leg, it would get uh, numb. Uh, and uh, all of that is gone. And all that's gone now? All of that is gone. So this nerve gets compressed. This is the common perineal nerve, and it gets compressed here at the uh, fibular head, um, and there's a band of tissue that crosses this nerve in some patients that's thicker than others. We think that's probably why it happens. Some people have a genetic predisposition for this to get pinched, um, other people will have diabetes or other uh, diseases that then um, have a, again, a propensity to cause compression. Uh, but this seemed to be, we weren't really sure why this occurred, maybe associated with some other positioning issues from other uh, in the knee, but um, the EMG confirmed it, his physical exam confirmed it, we decompressed it, and thankfully we have a, a very nice result with excellent return of sensation and function. Um, so knowing what you know now, would you uh, do this again if you had to? Oh, absolutely. I had highly recommend it. I mean, you know, it's one of those things that you worry about and what's going to happen. But uh, uh, surgery was uh, in and out, uh, outpatient surgery and uh, full recovery. So it's all great. So tell me, how much discomfort did you have after this operation, uh, specifically in that surgical site? Uh, just so some patients can get, my impression is it's not terribly uncomfortable, but I don't live through this. So. Yeah. No, it was not uh, uncomfortable at all. I know there was, uh, uh, you know, some pain medication was prescribed. I didn't even fill it. Uh, I ended up took, taking Tylenol for a day or two. Uh, and after that, it was fine. And then it was just ice packs and, um, you know, elevation, and, you know, trying to take care of it as best I could. And then slowly working up to walking distances. Um, but the post-operative pain was uh, very, very minimal. Great. Thank you so much.